Hi and welcome here from CES 2019. Again, my name is Sebastian Ang for MRTV. I'm here at the N Real stand, and we have here with us Zhi Hao, who, who is the who is the manager of the N Real glasses. As you can see here, and it seems like to be a very hot device right now. Everybody wants to try, sure. try the glasses. Sure. And tell our audience a bit more about the uh, Enreal glasses. What, what, gotcha. Are, gotcha. What, what are the Enreal glasses? So uh, our product is called Enreal Light. So here's actually a um, product mock-up of it. So as you can see, this is our real product. And then it's really lightweight. Um, and the form factor really mimics a real pair of glasses. It wow. only weighs around. It looks much smaller and better than the Magic. Exactly, exactly. This only weighs around 85 grams, which is a little bit over a normal pair of glasses. And on top of it, we have the capability of understanding the environment and understanding okay. objects. So, and with the optic solutions, it's completely developed in house, and we have 52 degrees of field of view and 1080p high resolution. Wow. Which I believe is the highest out there in the market. Okay, how does it compare to the Magic Leap in terms of the field of view? So, well, in terms of field of view, I think Magic Leap is somewhere around 50. Okay. Um, ours is slightly bigger. Okay. Um, so bigger, bigger, <laughs> and the actual, we hear that magic leap. And what's more important is that our the visual quality of our product is much better. Okay, I'm going to try that. If you got a chance, so this is what this mock-up is actually for. So this is the device we're specifically designed to showcase the visual quality okay. as well as the spatial sound. So you can see here are two speakers which are capable of offering you a three-dimensional audio system. Nice. So if you get closer to the device. You'll be able to, you'll be able to have the content play in front of you. Okay, so I'm going to try out, I'm going to try out the Enreal AR glasses now for you guys, and I'm going to tell you my first reaction. So first of all, let me tell you, I have tried the Magic Leap and I've tried the Hololens, and yeah, I like them, I must say. And now I'm looking forward to try the Enreal. Gotcha. All right. Like this, right? Okay. Oh, wow. I'm seeing some kind of universe now floating in front of me. And there's also like a floating fish now floating in front of me, a robot, a robot fish. And let me tell you one thing. As the first, as the first, my first reaction now, comparing to the Magic Leap and the HoloLens, the picture is much stronger. The picture is much stronger and much clearer than Magic Leap and HoloLens. Wow. Okay, so now I'm seeing some fighter jets which are floating around me, and uh, wow, it's like it's like actually so wow. And now the bullets are coming at me <laughs> in 3D. No, okay, all right. Oh my goodness, this is actually much better than Magic Leap. This is truly amazing. But but does it also have like um, is it just glass? Does, is it also aware of the environment? No, right. For this demo, particular no. But, but but how about but how about the the, pro, the end product? The end product, will, it will. There okay. are sensors on top of it that they will make the device fully capable of understanding the environment. Okay, cool. So I'm not, I'm not trying um, not to look at the content. I'm looking, trying to look at my phone, and I can still see my phone. However, I can see both, but it depends on what I focus on. But but the the picture. The picture quality is definitely better than on the Magic Leap and on the HoloLens. And as what the as what the field of view is concerned, okay. Well, I'm I'm trying to look now. Yeah, I would also I would also say it's it, it's 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 bigger. Well, now you you've used some demos that don't really show that. <laughs> it doesn't really have the edges, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you don't have the yeah, edges. Yeah. Uh, that's so all. No, no, that was a smart move. Yeah, yeah. That was a smart move of you guys. <laughs> so wow, this is this is really really mind blowing. I must say, wow, I'm really impressed. Thank you. I'm really really impressed here. So. Um, so now, um, when is it available? So the product is going to be officially launched to market in the second quarter of 2019, and the shipping date will be the third quarter. Okay. So third quarter. Third Hearts quarter available fully globally online. Okay. Wow. So um, how expensive is it going to be? So depending on the way you're going to buy it, um, it's, I would say the price range is actually going to be comparable to a high-end smartphone. Uh, if you buy the entire suite, it's going to be around a thousand bucks. 
Okay, what is the entire suite? Tell us, what is powering this device? Uh, no, what, what is the content? I see some devices here. Right, so as you can see, our smart glasses, it's, in, it's really compatible to multiple uh, computer devices. Uh, there's a wire coming out from the left temple that has a USB Type-C port. Okay, so, USB Type-C, right. There you go. So as long as there's a device that has full function USB Type-C port, our glasses can be powered up. Okay, but with what? With uh, okay, this this is only for power. This is so. This is only the glasses, and we there. There's also a little box which we call toast, and a controller which we call Oreo uh, okay. that, that can come with the glasses. So this can this contains the Snapdragon 845 computer unit and a battery that supports up to three hours of active use. And this controller has three dots of tracking and supports pressure and touch sensitive. Okay. So, so it's like uh, with this with this with this control with this um, Oreo. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look so tasty though. <laughs> But with this, with this, uh, with this Oreo, um, it's a three degrees of freedom controller, so I can click through menus and stuff. Click through menus. Is, menu, is, menu, is, menu. is it a, is it a touchpad? So yeah, on front of it is a giant touchpad. Okay, and cool. You can define virtual buttons on top okay. of it. Okay, so. all right. Okay, so this is how you would go through menus and stuff. Exactly, exactly. But but um, tell us a bit more about the sensors of the device. So do you really do you, do you want to compete against Magic Leap as what um, the um, yeah, the, the awareness of the environment is concerned? Yeah, exactly. So You want to, okay. That's what we want to achieve because, you know, without being able to understand the environment, um, this is not a mixed reality yeah, exactly, device. Exactly. In terms of the specific sensors, so there are a couple of cameras on the top. Um, there are two cameras, monochrome cameras, for, for tracking purposes. There's also one camera um, that is, you know, facing toward, that's going to offer first person view of the world. Okay. So that's mo mostly for taking photos, recording videos, and so on. Okay. So forth. Right. And one more side note on the cross-platform compatibility, and so this can be you know plugged into your smartphone that yes. can you know support multiple content okay. cross-platforms. So in terms of other sensors, there are uh, microphones on the top, which okay. we will enable uh, voice interactions in normal. All right. So, okay. Yeah. Got it. So is it like? Um, are you going to offer apps, or how? Where's the content? Is the content is on your on your phone, right? The content can be um, located either in this box, okay. um, on the okay. phone, or okay. on, on a laptop. Okay, um, okay, got the it. Content creation process is really easy. So uh, we are offering SDKs available on Unity. Okay. Uh, we are also rolling out SDKs on Unreal Engine. So okay. any developers, especially game developers, okay. um, those are pretty familiar with those engines will be able to develop okay. content on our platform. So the Unreal glasses they are targeted at consumers. So we, at this stage, we're targeting mostly on consumer market. Okay. Uh, we are also collaborating with enterprise clients at the same time. Right. Um, but that's going to be the practice for the for a very short run. So. All right. And you also have speakers, right, on, this gla on the glasses or not? Yeah, we oh, do yeah, have here. speakers at the here, very yeah. end of the temple. Um, here. And we are having audio technologies enabled by DTS. Um, they're, gonna, they're, they're giving us certificate around our special audio. Design. Wow! I'm really impressed. Like, how, how can you, how can you blow Magic Leap away? I mean, it's like it's like, uh, like surprising how the technology looks better actually than Magic Leap. Thank you. <laughs> wow! So. Um, um, I mean, it's really our philosophy to, you know, yeah. have a device that is lightweight enough and how long, yeah. from that. Okay, how long did you develop on that device? So our company was funded in January 2017, so uh, in the past two years or so, uh, we kept wow. iterating for almost three times. So this is the third generation prototype you have seen, and we're going to iterate one more time before mass production. Okay. Is it, what is the price just for the glasses again? Can you tell us again? So the price is supposed to be for the entire suite. Oh, for, the, for the whole thing? With the, with this, the this thing contains a yeah. Snapdragon 845. That's it's not okay. cheap. Oh, okay, guys. So like a, like a smartphone, like a high-end smartphone. Exactly. Eight hundred dollars. Exactly. Okay, this device is gonna be around eight hundred dollars, perhaps. Uh, a thousand dollars. A thousand. A thousand dollars. There you yeah. go. Okay, it's getting a bit more expensive here by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> for all the viewers of MRTV, there's gonna be a discount. Okay, great. So this is very interesting. Um, are you already like developing your own games or? Yeah. So we have. What's gonna be there on the fr day one? Right. So uh, we have internally a team of ten people uh, working on developing. Contents um, with all the demos you see at CES right now, those are contents de developed by that team in particular. But obviously, we, re we realize this is a platform, so we can't really do everything by ourselves. Right. We're in partnership with um, companies like ITE, who's, uh, who's also investing in us 
So that's you know the equivalent of Chinese Netflix. Okay. Uh, they're gonna provide content. Uh, we're gonna you know have more partnerships like this. In the All right. So. Awesome. So how is your funding situation? You are well funded, like Magic. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the billions? We Where do the billions there. come from? We are getting there. Yeah. Uh, we just closed our Series A fund uh, okay. with investors from Shuwei, Xiaosan, uh, uh, ITE, and uh, China Growth Capital. Okay. Um, we're 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 get, we're raising another round of fund currently, and um, you guys are gonna hear more about that. Okay. Tomorrow. Cool. And. Um, um, is it like the the founder? He was working at Magic Leap before. Yeah, so uh, that's what I read. Right, the founder, uh, uh, Doctor Xu, Xu uh, is actually uh, a former employee of Magic Leap, and uh, he used to be working on the on the Slam team uh, for Magic Leap. Uh, what, what is the Slam team? So uh, the team working on the uh, working on tracking the environment uh, okay. and embedded systems. All right. Okay. Cool. So he thought like after Magic Leap, it's it's so bulky. Uh, let's let's make something cooler. Exactly. Exactly. That's. <laughs> Where we're going. With this. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, so the, the 52 degrees um, field of view is it like a, how is it like a diagonally or is it like horizontally? This or? is a diagonal. Field. It's a diagonal field of view. Yeah. But I can tell you just from from having tried it now for the first time, it feels better than Magic Leap and Hololens for sure. But what what now impressed me like is how how strong the picture is. How I mean I don't know how to say that. It's like it's like incredible. Can I can I try it through the lens? Sure, go for it. Well, there's a sensor on the top. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try now to do a, a through the lens. I love, you know, I love through the lens videos, right? And here, you can see that. Can you see that? There's like, there's like um, a planet, and there's this robot, there's this uh, fish, and it's like very clear. It's it's like really, really clear. And can you see that? I'm, I'm asking you in the chat right now. Like, can you see how clear that is? Hey, can you tell us um, a, a bit more about the resolution of this? So the resolution of this of the display is 1080p, which is the highest of all AR glasses in the world. Wow! It's it's really really. It, it looks so crisp and so clear. Oh what? Okay. Oh yeah yeah. Okay, you can see even better. Oh wow! It is so clear. That is way better than HoloLens and Magic Leap. Like it's so clean. Wow. That is truly amazing, man. Really, really amazing. So yeah, it's not supposed to move with the glasses, but guys, you know what? This is just a demo unit. I hope I can check the real unit in a moment. And then can I can I check the six degrees of freedom? Yeah, sure. Okay. That's gonna be in the demo unit later. Okay. Wow, wow. Really, really impressive. I really hope that you got a good look now at the at, at the Unreal. It looks way better than Magic Leap, let's be honest about it. And I'm looking forward to try out the the six degrees of freedom, the actual the actual motion tracking. And this is gonna happen in the next video. So if you like that if you like that first glimpse on the on the Unreal here, together with Zhihao, who is the product manager. <laughs> Um, then give it a thumbs up, and of course, if you have not yet subscribed to Emma TV yet, do so now. And you're going to hear much more about Unreal on Mix Reality TV because I have the feeling they're going to send me a review unit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right.